What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the old drunken geek, and today I am going to review Iron Fist season two. So I'm happy to announce that season two was a lot more okay. It was just okay. It was a lot better than season one. I tell you what. I mean, season one was a fucking mess. This one was a lot better. The fight choreography was a lot better. The character development was a lot better. The pacing of the show in general was a lot better. Um, you get to see more of Davos, uh, was played by this guy Sasha Duan. Um, at some points, his acting was a little bit over the top. I thought a little hacky. But for the most of it, man, I thought he was one of the best actors in the show. Um, you know, he kind of like oscillated. His character was also kind of a little bit unhinged at moments. So it was cool to watch. Um, at some points, he was terrifying, man. The dude's like 5'6". And I've looked this up because I'm 5'8". And I'm totally confident with my height. There's no like problems with that at all. But yeah, little dude's winning because he was kicking ass. And he was fucking terrifying in some parts. Um... We got to catch up again with the Meachums, which I was like, why do we still care about the Meachums? Drink to that. But to be honest, uh, they actually did follow through their storylines really well, um, both the brother and the sister. Um, they also, you know, they had their little story arcs, which at times were also a little bit much. But all in all, I thought they were just per done pretty okay. And it was all tied into um, Danny Rand, back to Danny Rand. Um, speaking of Danny Rand, uh, this season's choreography, the fight choreography was a lot, a lot better. Because season one, that shit was sorry as fuck, bro. I mean, I've watched a lot of kung fu movies. And if this was supposed to be any kind of, like, tribute to kung fu movies in the first season, it was the garbagest tribute ever. But this season... You know, it wasn't like anything like a kung fu movie, but the fighting itself was pretty good. It was pretty believable. It was pretty dope. And, um, yeah, you know, we obviously got to see him light his fist. Um, so, we're going to jump into spoilers. So, if you don't want to hear anything, ban one. Spoilers? So, Danny's girlfriend and, um, you know, partner in crime or crime fighting, Colleen Wing, um, she got a really good arc this season as well. Matter of fact, she uh she got such a good arc it's almost like the show's becoming about her in a way um we got to see her team up with misty knight from luke cage and they did a little bit of the daughters of the dragon thing and to be honest to me that was some of the best shit dude the daughter of the dragon episodes when they're hanging out and they're you know busting down looking for certain things because uh you know danny is uh incapacitated at some point that is should be its own show and i think that's what they were leaning towards so I'm glad to see that because those two actresses together had mad chemistry. Um, even more than Colleen and Danny, if I must say. But um, yeah, either way though, uh, the show was pretty pretty okay. It was a lot better than the first season, which made me a lot happier. I was bummed out that there was no Luke Cage. I was thought, I'm like, okay, Danny popped up in Luke's show. Luke's going to pop up in his show, and he didn't, which is a little bit of a bummer. But I understand because where we left Luke Cage, spoilers for fucking Luke Cage. Where we left off Luke Cage, he's kind of becoming like a crime boss type deal, even though he says he's a sheriff. Um, you know, but uh, even though we didn't see Luke Cage, he does get name dropped and stuff like that. And it's, it's, it, it still feels pretty connected. Um, so now we're entering full, full spoilers. I mean, before it was a little bit spoilers, it was full spoilers. Um, so Davos takes the Iron Fist from Danny, And then they try to take the Iron Fist from Davos and put it into Colleen. But they don't complete it, so now Davos kind of had it, and Colleen kind of had it. And at the end of the show, it's left like, okay, Colleen Wing now has the Iron Fist. You're like, okay, that's kind of weird, because, you know, he's Danny Rand. He's, you know, the immortal Iron Fist, you know, protector of Kun Lun or whatever. And now, you know, Colleen's got it, and she's using the sword, and, you know, Danny goes off on his own. Then at the last scene, you see that Danny's got the Iron Fist too, and he's using guns, which... I didn't think Danny Rand used guns in the comics. I'm not the biggest Iron Fist uh, comic fan, so I don't know. But I thought that was the previous Iron Fist before him that used guns. I don't know if he used guns too. That's a new thing to me. And to me, they kind of left it a little bit, uh, you know, they took, they made a choice. Whether I like that choice or not, doesn't matter. They made a strong choice, which is better than no choice in my opinion. 
So, um, I mean, I can't even be mad at it, but it's kind of weird to me personally. One of the highlights of the show was seeing Danny Rand with the mask when he was battling Davos for the uh, Iron Fist or the right to, you know, fight Shao Lao the dragon. That was really cool because you finally get to see the mask. And I thought, I'm like, oh man, by the ending, he's going to do the full costume with the green and the mask. No, he doesn't. Just whatever, I guess. We didn't get to see, uh, you know, Daredevil until the last episode. So I thought by the end of season two, we would get comic book accurate uh, Danny Rand. But I guess we didn't. I guess we'll probably get him next season, hopefully, if uh, the show still goes on. Personally, I feel like they should cancel Iron Fist and Luke Cage and uh, just put Hero for Hire. Just make a Heroes for Hire show and, you know, have them, you know, like fight the Freak of the Week, the Monster of the Week. I think that would be a cool show. Um, I'm actually just copying uh, Fat Man Beyond, Kevin Smith, Fat Man Beyond. I just watching that on the way here. But I, that sounds pretty cool. And also, like, the Daughters of the Dragon should be on that show. It's like the, that's a great idea, I think, because they had the best chemistry, like I said before. As far as the quality of the show, it's still no Daredevil, neither in an action or in drama. Um, not as good as Jessica Jones, in my opinion. Um, it is around the same area as Luke Cage Season 2. It's around there. It's still not no Luke Cage Season 1, in my opinion. So it's around that area. So it's still on the bottom um, bottom list of like Netflix Marvel shows. But it's still better than Season 1 and better than Defenders. So it's got that going for it. And it, it's an improvement. So I'll, I'll give it another, obviously, another season to see if they improve a little bit more. Um, but yeah, man, that's my little rant slash, you know, review of... Uh, Danny Rand, the Iron Fist, the Immortal Iron Fist. So, you guys have been Iron Fisted. And if you'd like this review, just go ahead, drop a like, got something to say. Hey, ODG, you look stupid. Fucking drop it in the comments, bro. I don't give a fuck. FW. FW, you can drop it in the comments. That's all right, bro, as long as you drop a comment. Do You got to do it under another account, though. You, know, you got you to gotta you gotta, you gotta make the numbers, baby. The numbers. Numbers. Um, yeah, man. So, you guys can check us out. Dropping loads, old drunken geek. You can check us out on Instagram. And uh, yeah, man, that's all I got for today. ODG out. <laughs>